Hi, my name is Ben Harvey, and I'm doing a jersey review on a fake jersey from NFLSuperBowlFans.com. Uh, this is just one of those kind of, I don't know, off-brand uh, fake jersey sites. I just sort of found it on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, I was kind of kind of worried about ordering it from here, but I was pleasantly surprised. I'm just going to uh, go into detail here. Uh, first of all, we have we got, we got the tags and stuff. They all look good. And uh, these numbers, these are these these numbers are nice. I mean, they're 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 a great material, high quality material. I mean, they they I think they might be the same material on the actual Nike Elites, and they're stitched on seamlessly. Like I cannot even find anything wrong with this stitching at all. It just seems absolutely perfect. Actually, yeah, there's a little bit in the corner, but that's I mean, you'll see that on normal Nike uniforms. And I just like to compare. I got this other jersey. I already did a review on it from Go Pick Jerseys. These numbers, these numbers are crappy. And just just look at the difference. These shiny numbers, but these these are the right. I mean, uh, they're not shiny. They're just kind of that color. And these are butt ugly because they're so shiny and just weird. <sighs> and go, going down a, uh, you have the uh, whatever it's called thing. It's uh, uh, the size plate or whatever. You've got NFL, NFL players, size. And, and the sizing is actually perfect, by the way. You got Nike, and they actually made it black to look more like the, the rubber logo, which, I mean, nobody's really going to notice. It's not rubber. But, uh, I mean, it's black compared to the, the gray that's on this Rams one. Uh, and, and you could tell here that it's just a different material. I mean, though, though I don't know if it's actually a more expensive material because it seems to be thinner. But at least it's it's this dry dry fit type of stuff that will actually. I mean, it's actually made to be sweat in. And I mean, the mesh is different too. I mean, I, I'm I'm not a a mesh connoisseur, but I mean, the mesh does seem higher quality. And I mean, it it looks good. Especially from far away, it just looks looks better than this. I mean, you can tell there's even different colors. Uh, and we got you got the Rams logo, and what I like about this is that it's it's actual so actually sewn back on the back here, and it's it's better than yeah, I'll show you this this is the tag's just loose, and I mean it's supposed to be screen printed on. But I've actually had a bad experience with the screen put on ones. I'll show you. As you can see here, the screen printed on one, it's not very light. The screen printed on one is just, just comes off with my finger. And, I mean, it's not going to last. But, but over here, we have, this is not going to come off. I mean, just because it's, 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 a, it's a cloth tag. And, it's sewn on, and I got this the little shiny stuff next to serial number, which is pretty cool. Uh, here we got Flywire, which act actually looks really great. It looks really realistic, and rubberized NFL logo. I mean, I I can't tell if it's centered off or not. I mean, it's just pretty good. It looks centered perfectly to me. And uh, I mean, just these these shoulder numbers. They look good, opposed to, you know, over here where the shoulder numbers get bent. And, I mean, even over here, uh, these uh, patches are bent, and they're not going to bend back. Uh, but what you can do is you can iron them. I would recommend putting a, uh, a damp cloth so you don't burn anything. But if, if you iron these, it'll come right out. Uh... <clears throat> some flaws 
I looked at the uh, actual Nike Elite uniform, and this Rams logo is gigantic compared to it. I mean, as you can see here, it's it's a lot smaller, and this is the right the right uh, size compared to this giant one. But this one is also a patch. While this is actually just put it on, yeah, actually it's it, it's not just a big patch. I mean, this does look better, but this is the right size. But nobody's really gonna notice that your Rams logo is the wrong size because. Again, you're just a jersey kind of sewer. Uh, here, it, it's Nike. Oh, crap. Nike logo is a patch. You can see the the tip of it's kind of kind of bent right there, but I, I don't even know. I mean, it's it's just a patch. Uh, let's see the other side. This side looks a lot better. This side looks a lot better. Uh, and yeah, it's just Nike logo patch on there. Uh, flipping it over. Alright, James Laurinaitis, 55. And, I mean, it, there's still just, there's just some general like stitching errors, and there's some loose threads. But these numbers, I'm surprised. They did a great job with these these numbers. Uh, with my other jersey, I was kind of disappointed that uh, the nameplate here was sewed on really bad. But this actually, it seems to be to be cut correctly, and like well, actually well sewn on there. I mean, this is, it actually looks good, and it looks like it'll last more than two days. Unlike, here, I'll show you this one. Uh, Corbin Finnegan. Where, if I get the light right, I don't know if you can see this, but it just seems to be sewn on crappily, and yeah, it's, it's already coming off at the corners, and it just looks bad. <sighs> Anyways, though, oh yeah, there's also this like little mark here. Not sure if how that will come out, but I don't know. I think I'm just I'm gonna take a damp cloth to, and it should it should work out pretty easily. It usually does, and there's just just some some cloth, uh, some random little threading errors on the side. But overall, Laurinaitis looks great. I mean, nobody's going to tell. This is perfectly made uh, Laurinaitis, or perfectly sewn on. I mean, really, my only complaints with this entire jersey are just just uh, quality of material, which I'm not even sure if that's a bad thing on this jersey, and just threads hanging out. I mean, you can see thread is really sort of, sort of hanging out on these edges right here by the sleeves. But, I mean, it, it looks great, and this fly wire is realistic as hell. And, I can't really find anything else to talk about this, but I have some water here. Do the waterproof test. If you didn't know this, all Nike Elite jerseys should be waterproof or water wicking. It should just run off. And we're going to pour some water on this. And... Well, uh, I don't really know what this is doing. Holy crap. I was not expecting it to pass this. Pass the water wicking test. That is, that is actually a real surprise. This is, huh, I was honestly not, not expecting it to do this. Well, it's waterproof. So this is this is a solid jersey. Uh yeah, so it's NFLSuperBowlFans.com. Make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna have more Rams videos on the way. See so I got a pile of pile of jerseys. I'm gonna do this over time. Have a little series going on. But yeah, this is waterproof. I I've never done this before. So I was genuine surprise right there. I was not expecting that. So I guess this is 
this is actually pretty high quality material. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.